Edgewood community, we work with the Whiteford Elementary School by providing school-based health clinics and after-school programs. We also have health clinics at Cohen Middle School and Tuma Elementary, and we're very pleased and excited to move into Crim High School in November, providing an array of primary health care services as well as behavioral health services for the students there. We work in this place, and our place is the Edgewood neighborhood of Southeast Atlanta. When we came into this community, we realized it was very important to partner with the principal of the school. So we met with that principal, talked with her about what we could do to help improve educational outcomes for students at the school. And she said that a health clinic would certainly contribute to improve school attendance as well as showing improvements in test scores as well because if kids are healthy, if they're able to receive health care on site, that would certainly be a winning situation for her. And so for the past 14 years, our partnership with the schools include uh, physicians from Emory University who actually provide excellent health care to the kids right on site. Uh, for several years, we have partnered with Park, Parkside Elementary School. We actually come in on a weekly, monthly, even daily basis at some time to support the teachers and also to be role models, mentors to the children. Um, we participate in several activities from um, read day to junior achievement, just anything that we can do to help them understand how important education is to them. It's a very strong community in and of itself. And so I think anything that uh, a partnership brings is really to underscore the strength that's already here. So what happens is, is that you'll have an administrator or a faculty that's really, really strong at a school like a King or Inman. And what we do is we'll just provide the resources for them to, to materialize their vision. So, so they're all really, really, really strong. We're just here to kind of partner with them to make sure that they, they have all of the resources that, that they need to develop that strength. And the teacher that I pursued a relationship with past the actual classroom walls. Um, I can remember Miss Howard from Peterson Elementary. I can remember Miss Stevenson from Southside. And I can remember Miss Alexander from uh, Brown Middle School. And those teachers there were teachers that, even though I was outside their classroom, I still was able to go. I was still able to go to them and talk to them about the stuff that I was going on during school, and they were able to relate to me and give me some sort of guidance as to what I needed to do next, or guidance as to how to keep my mind focused on graduation. And we started out with Southside High School when it, when it was called Southside and it was a GE Foundation grant that we received uh, over three years and uh, it's called Center Dance, what we started there. We actually put a dance artist, Tiffany Mingo, into the position of teaching dance all day long at the school and we had the incredible support of Dr. Carter which was very, very important that we had her support to start the program. The program started out very small, but as you know, Ms. Davis has taken it to incredible heights, and we're very excited with her work. 